Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you an incredible powerful way to obtain gold in WoW Season of Discovery. Using this technique, you will literally be able to pacify multiple mobs for an entire minute. There is one type of high level item in all versions of Classic WoW which is unusual in that it can be looted by players at any level. And that's the treasure chest. Treasure chests are all over Azeroth. The higher the level, the better the loot. Most of these chests, however, are surrounded by high-level mobs. Just before the start of Season of Discovery, a new YouTuber called Manlet Gaming went viral with a fascinating video entitled Free Instant Gold Farm for Season of Discovery. In his video, Manlet Gaming showed a safe route into the Eastern Plaguelands for low-level undead players, which led to an unprotected chest inside a tower in Eastern Plaguelands. Manlet Gaming speculated that this could be an excellent gold farm when Season of Discovery launched, but warned that the chest might be nerfed or removed altogether when the new incarnation of Classic WoW was actually released. The video subsequently chalked up 70,000 views, an insane number for a Warcraft YouTuber's first video. What followed was the sort of insane chaos which makes Warcraft so enjoyable sometimes. Subsequently, when SOD launched, numerous players camped the location and the vast majority reported not seeing any chests despite repeatedly checking. Some went so far as to say Blizzard had removed the chest altogether. I don't in fact believe this to be the case. As we'll see, chests did exist initially in high level zones. What likely happened was that one chest each on a limited number of servers was swiftly looted by some very sharp and lucky players. And the other 99% of the 50,000 people that had seen the video at that stage were left with nothing. Shortly afterwards, Blizzard released a blue post stating no chests would spawn subsequently in high-level zones. But despite this, Manlet Gaming still had come up with a brilliant idea, albeit one that hadn't quite worked in practice, and I wondered if I could somehow develop it. Despite Blizzard's nerf, chests would still spawn in zones appropriate for the maximum level in Season of Discovery, level 25, which could still be very lucrative. The basic problem is that anyone can camp a location with no NPCs. But what if you had a method to pacify the highest level mobs so that a level 1 character could loot a treasure chest? You could potentially loot multiple chests in higher level zones completely inaccessible to other players and make insane profits. There is in fact such a method. Let me show you how. So take this really simple example here in the starting area of Northshire Valley. A chest has spawned next to this tent and we can't loot it straight away because of these three defiance thugs surrounding it. I placed a level 1 human warrior on top of the tent and all the defiance thugs are in combat but evading because my character is out of range. WoW NPCs can't jump so if your character doesn't have a direct path leading to them, then the NPCs evade. Now the trick is to have another level 1 character in the same area. We've opened two WoW clients and I log straight in on the second. This automatically logs out my first character. My second character can safely loot the chest. You'll see that the first character has not logged out properly when I log in on the second and is still visible in game. This is what happens when you don't log out properly. This first character is keeping the Defiance Thugs in combat and focused on her. This effectively pacifies them for a minute, like an incredibly powerful crowd control spell. Now, this is a deliberately simple example. It isn't really worth targeting low-level chests using this method. Here's an example of how powerful this method can be. On the day Season of Discovery came out, I made two human warriors and took them down to the Blasted Lands. I used them to pacify this high-level ogre and looted the chest next to him. 
It was an amazing feeling pacifying a mob a full 45 levels higher than the characters I was using. I had big plans to place level 1s in every chess spawn location and make insane amounts of gold. I really felt I'd broken WoW, and then Blizzard's nerf came in. However, as I said, you can still use this method in the highest zones accessible in Season of Discovery, which is currently 25. So, how might you use this in practice? What you essentially do is this. Make multiple level 1s and take them into any zone with level 25 content. There's a link below to a site called warcrafttavern.com which shows the location of every treasure chest in a guide created by a helpful person called Orindak. I'm going to show you another example here. The Wetlands, which is a 20 to 30 zone, is particularly accessible to low-level characters. You can reach it in five minutes. Simply create a dwarf or gnome, run them out of Colridge Valley into Dunmora. There's a secret route past Nomragon through the mountains, which will get you to the edge of the mountains. Throw yourself down here and die, and you'll spawn at the graveyard at Menethil, which happens to be right next to two treasure spawn locations. These locations also happen to have these distinctive Murloc structures. which a level 1 player can jump on and evade combat. You'll die a few times doing this. Just run back in ghost form and keep resing closer to your target location. Note that it is possible to make it impossible for other players to loot the chests by keeping any hostile NPCs in the area in evade combat, making them invulnerable. Be aware that done persistently and cynically this can be interpreted as griefing and will result in reports and an eventual ban, so I'd avoid doing this deliberately. Worth adding also that things like food crates and barrels work in much the same way as chests. The drops from these aren't as lucrative as the chests, however the spawns are much more frequent which can compensate. You could use the same basic technique, not just here, but with a significant percentage of the chests in the game, or at least until you hit the character creation cap. This would give you massive hourly gold returns. There won't always be a safe spot you can drop combat by every chest spawn location, but you can often use approximately the same tactic with a different spin when there isn't. I'll leave that to your imagination. If you like techniques like this one, be sure to sign up to my Patreon where I have many gold making exploits which work in the various different versions of WoW.